All right, so this is just a, a continuation of the like the other videos I did with the water effects and slime, but this time I'm pretty much instead of using hot glue, I'm just going to use great stuff. And if you're going to use great stuff, pretty much what it is is it's expanding foam. Make sure you get the window version because the regular version, and then there's like a big expanding, like I think it comes in a black can. Uh, one drop of that shit will be like the size of your fist and pretty much what great stuff is is it's a an expanding foam that would it as it dries it gets like a skin and then the foam inside reacts with itself and releases a gas and that's how it expands so it's nothing but like like chemical and air on the inside so if you touch it you could break that skin and it'll uh, It'll break down and flatten out a little bit, but once the skin dries up, which it does like in a couple seconds, it'll start to, to grow again. So you can, with the window version, you can make it as big as you want by adding as much as you want, but then by simply just touching the outside and breaking that skin, you can push it back down and you get some cool textures out of it. Um, it's super sticky. Uh, you really don't want it on your hands. You can. If it dries on your hands, get like gasoline or something. There's probably less harsh chemicals to, to wash it off, but that's what it, it takes about to get it off your fucking hands because it's, it's meant for like uh, insulation and shit like that. And here's a big board. It'll make like a giant pimple in the middle. Just, you know, it just looks fucking gross. And it's good for like funguses and like gross and all kinds of like weird shit kind of like a Nurgle, Nurgle-esque. I'm probably going to do like one with the uh, like bog of eternal stench and make it real fucking gross. Little buttholes everywhere farting. And you can you can mold the stuff surprisingly well. It's not going to be perfect. But you can pretty much almost shape it into like, you know, how you want. But it is super sticky. If it gets on your clothes and shit, you're gonna probably wanna, like, w right there and then wash, start washing it off. Cause if it dries, you're you're kind of fucked. If it dries all the way, you're you're even more fucked. Cause then this, you gotta like scrape it off with a knife. And so I just primed the whole thing here in green, and I'm just, you know, it probably dries dries in like 20 minutes too. So. You know, you could do this project really quick. Paint all the pipes first. Oh, my neck's killing me today. And, um, you know, start your darks do you, to your lights. These I'm going to use the, the water effects too on all of them. And I used a uh, glow-in-the-dark paint. Which didn't fucking glow at all at... <laughs> And all the projects I used, it was just real, you got, you got cheap shit at Walmart, and that's what you get for getting cheap shit at Walmart. But uh, the color was really cool, and it had a weird shine. And here's the two small pipes I'm doing. I was trying to just get this all in one video, just to make it easier. That's it when it's dry. There's the glow-in-the-dark. The glow-in-the-dark paint, I just poured in. I didn't bother like painting. I wanted it to be real like thick and bright at, on the bottoms. It turned out real good, and it'll shrink down like most paint. Most paint does shrink down a little bit, so like even though you can't see any de the details, when it dries, you're gonna see the whole bottom of you know the the model and stuff. Even if you pour it in like this, it it shrinks down to like almost nothing, but it has a real nice like bright green to it, neon esque. I wish it glowed a little bit better, but, you know, you'd have to pretty much darken your whole room to see it, the glow, and it, it's pretty much pointless at that point. I mean, you wouldn't be able to play the play any of the fucking games and, and see what you were doing. That's why I don't really care for, like, adding lighting effects and stuff like that to, to most models. It's like... You're never going to get the light bright enough to really see it unless you're playing in a, a dark ass room. And, you know, playing in a dark ass room is going to make you go blind. 
So I don't recommend it. I mean, it's cool for doing diorama shit, but if you're not doing that, it's, you know, you're just tooting your own horn. And you just let that dry, and that's, this is what it looks like dried. I really like the, the brightness, and you still, you see everything. It shrinks down to, like, just about nothing, even putting it in. I poured it about a quarter of an inch, you know, thick. And you can still see parts of the board under it. But it's got it's got a weird, nice, like, bright green. And then it's did a couple more coats. You dry coat it as much as or as little as you want. I didn't plan any of this out. I just kind of just went with it. And, you know, it, just, it turned out to be like a happy accident. That's the, the most you can wish for in most of these situations. Especially with, like, great stuff and stuff. Because it's going to constantly, like, grow into different shapes. And if you're not there constantly watching it and uh, manipulating it, you know, you're not going to have much control of it. And so here's the water effects. I just added some brown ink, which is just, uh, like, fountain pen ink. And there's some green and some red. And later I'll add, like, a, a couple drops of black to the... Uh, the middle part that you'll see. I really like how the brown turned out. I want to try, I have to try to find some like yellow ink. I want to do another portal. I did a, a blood portal. I have two more videos coming. Maybe I'll get them out tomorrow or uh, maybe like Tuesday or something like that. I want to take a break. Been real busy. But this this one was a, a lot of fun doing. I really like messing around with the water effects and making like oil spills and chemical spills. Doing it on a big board like this is, is a lot of fun. The board's about like a foot by, by a foot around. So, you know. And a bottle of water effects goes for about 23. My, my hobby shop, it goes for like 23, like 99. Online, I've seen it at twenty-five dollars on Amazon, so I mean that that's probably going to be the the cheapest you get around twenty-five bucks. And just push the water into the corners; it'll flow and self-level. It's pretty good. I just try to control. It, it's easier. I wish I had a uh, was like a ink was a uh, eyedropper. Probably be a lot easier to do this spill the shit out of it all inside and you just move it around that cloudiness as the water effects dries give it about two days and that cloudy cloudiness the milkiness uh, completely dries clear you're not supposed to pour more than like I think of an eighth of an inch or something with this but if you go I've done it like up to a half inch and sometimes the cloudiness goes away sometimes it doesn't but it usually takes about, like, the if you go anything over, like, a, a quarter of an inch, it usually takes about three to four days to completely dry. It's super slow drying. But, you know, for, for 25 bucks and you just pour and you set it and forget it, then trying to mix fucking epoxies and, you know, you only have five minutes to set the epoxy because then it, it dries so hard so fast. You know, th this shit's a little bit easier. It's convenient, really, if anything. And you can add as much, you know, dye as you want, you know. If I had, like, I really need to find some, like, yellow ink. Gotta check the hobby store for that. I think that would look real cool for, like, a portal or something. And then I add a couple black drops in the middle. The black looks really good. It looks fucking gross. It's like a pussy-ass pimple dripping into everything. I don't even know what the fuck to call this video. If you ever see something like this growing on your body, just, just set yourself on fire, because you're probably fucked. <laughs> In all seriousness.
and this is up close. It's still, it's still wet. It's still mostly. I think this is like I, I did this video like 15 minutes after I poured it. It gets pre it dries surprisingly fast if you do the thin coats. It'll start to gel up like uh, almost immediately. It'll, you can still like move it around and stuff. I like all the like the the different colors and shit, and you can still see through it to the to the bottom. It's something I like. And here are the two other little pieces. These I don't add any color. I just add the water effect. And for these I did like real thin coats. So I actually did like two or three pours on these. Because even water effects when it dries it, it thins out and shrinks a little bit. Not much but it does shrink down a little bit. It's like everything. And the cool thing I like about water effects is it does that weird, that optical illusion of magnifying everything under it. So you have that like, if you if you pour at least you know a couple layers and you go kind of thick with it, when you look at something it'll look like it's um magnified like just like looking at the like real water. I really like how the the red turned out. You can see the dark spots where it mixed with the black. The brown turned out really cool. Green's not bad. I just like the the red color and the, the, the brown the best. This looks like the brown looks like dookie water. And you can still see some of the details. It's a little hard to see it on the camera. But you can still see through most of that and see the bottom. And the cool thing about this, if you wanted to do another like thin layer of water effects over it, you could just leave it as is and do it and not add any dye and it'll still look just as good. Yeah, this looks all fucking nasty. <laughs> the pimple part's probably my favorite. Who knows what the fuck that that thing is? And here's, you know, after everything's dry, you know, water effects. It looks good. It looks like there's water in there. You know, no dye in this one. You know, simple ideas, cheap ideas. You know, water effects about twenty five bucks. I think the great stuff can um, is about ten dollars. The board that I get from this is goes is like five dollars at Home Depot, and all this most of the stuff you can get at Home Depot. Um, the PVC pipe pieces are like sixty eight cents, so you know you can do everything for under about you know thirty dollars. You can make multiple pieces of train. All right, I'm gonna go work on the rest of the stuff. All right, have a good day. Bye.